Hi, this is Scott Schrader. This is part of the green, I'm sorry, the color series. I would like to talk about the color green today. Um, the color green, the word for green is yerek, and uh, it, it means green or green plants. Uh, you see it used in Genesis, talking about every green plant or herb that a uh, man could eat. Uh, you see it often in the Old Testament used um, for a green tree. God uh, basically uh, berating uh, Israel for and other uh, nations for doing idolatry under a green tree. Um, it's interesting. Uh, green has to do with life and has to do with growth. Uh, when we see a green plant, to us that means that it's uh, doing well and that it's growing and, and there's life in it. And uh, the root of green is the word yare. Yare means, uh, interestingly enough, fear, reverence, and awe. So how, how will we connect these things together? Well, God is the author of life. He is the one that holds all things together. And so um, as we really come into a realization of that, when we really can understand that, uh, that does bring reverence, that does bring awe, and, and it even brings fear uh, to be on the wrong side of God. And so all of uh, the angels know how powerful God is uh, on both sides of the spectrum, and, and they, they are in fear of him to be on the wrong side of him because um, he holds them together. He is the one that has all life and contains all life, and, and uh, he is life itself to speak. In a sense, he's the author of it. Um, we see that in Revelation 4, Revelation chapter 4, we see that there is like a light circle around the throne of God. And um, yeah, some people call it like a rainbow, but it's really like a light circle. Uh, and and it uh, has this green color. That it's the color of an emerald. Um, and so this denotes God's life, God's um, and His uh, sovereignty, His reverence and fear that, that comes, uh, and everything is alive uh, in God's presence. His throne is alive. His throne speaks. Everything is alive around Him, and sh it shows the power uh, of the amount of life in God. Uh, he gave life not only in the physical realm, but in all realms, including the spiritual realm. Uh, he is the one that has brought life. Uh, to it. And so, again, we need to have that uh, respect and honor for our Maker, for the one uh, He has made us, not we ourselves, as, as the scripture says. This word, uh, Yarek, uh, for green, has three different letters in the Hebrew letters. The first one is the Yod, or the Yud, and it means power or the right hand. And so, and that's interesting. And so, we'll go on to the next one, which is the Resh. Uh, the Resh means head or the first. And, and then we have the last letter, the kuf. The kuf, uh, in more modern times, means like a sunrise and sunset, so it's kind of, it has the idea of a fullness. But in ancient, more ancient times, it was a tree that had ripe fruit ready to fall, again, which has that meaning of fullness or full fruit. And so here we have that uh, delineation that God is, he is the head of the power, and he is the one that brings full fruit. He is the one that brings life. And so um, as we go about our day to day, and every time we look, perhaps, and we see that color green, we see those plants, it's a good idea to think about uh, the one who created them and to give him the honor and reverence due his name.